Nobody is safe without inclusion in modern politics. What are you doing here? You can relax. You're safe now. You're old G4 TV is here. Okay. Gamer toxicity. Gamer toxicity. Gamer toxicity. Gamer toxicity. Aren't you glad you're virtue signaler? Here to save you? I guess. But wait a minute, you, you should go. There's there's no need for you to be here. I think I should stay and I think we should have an unhealthy relationship of me telling you that you're toxic all the time. Okay. Before we get into this clip, this hot take from G4, I want to show the breadcrumbs of evidence that prove it was inevitable for G4 TV to fail. Adam Sessler. Adam used to be a cool dude back in the day when he was with Morgan Webb. Unfortunately, he went a little kooky and drank the Kool-Aid of Gamergate and became a giant raging douchebag. Mm. Hate speech and online gaming. It, don't even give me that First Amendment nonsense. You have every right to say it, and I have every right to call you a fucking asshole and try to find your address and put it out there. Um, uh, maybe a lot of them are in junior high school. I don't know. And one more thing. Are any of you people part of this absolutely ridiculous men's rights Reddit subreddit thing? You don't get to flip the argument back to you, okay? You are the problem. Acknowledge it. Go home and think about how shitty you are. End of story. Number two, G4 Reunion. The G4 Reunion was a fun little video where members of G4 and Tech TV got back together to do a fan service skit. In the end of the skit, they get saved by this WWE guy that just feels the need to point out that there are no people on the show that look like him. And by him, I mean black. Granted, none of y'all's faces really look like my face. You just had to throw that in there. You already had a perfect moment. But then you had to just add your damn modern politics. G4 was never about being perfect. Yeah, got that right. <laughs> G4 was about having fun with your friends, playing video games, and most importantly, coming together around things that we all genuinely love. Three, Attack of the Show. So after finding videos of Attack of the Show, I found that WWE wrestler guy is one of the hosts for Attack of the Show. All right, that's pretty cool. Billing joins us for more Around the Net. We've still got Avali May ready to flood your brain with anime knowledge, but right now, fans of our, oh my word. Oh, you can't do that. You can't throw me like that. I'm hypnotized. Yeah, just stare into it. God, I can't. I'm so, and his eyes are jiggling. Okay, uh, back by special demand. You guys wanted it. We're happy to oblige. This is good. Then it shows the rest of the cast and Holy tokenism, Batman. You got the whole quota field here. Let's see. We got a white man. Check. An Asian girl. Check. I'm guessing a Middle Eastern man. Check. And two black people. One guy, one gal. Big red. <laughs> That again doesn't seem organic. That feels very much forced and artificial. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. Let's just watch some of the episodes. Oh, oh no. Got it. Ready? Austin, you good? Team name? Uh, our team name is uh, Team Diversity Hire. Ah! Hey! Oh my god, they're self aware. They know. Team we straight play white male, fair. here we come! Oh, wow. <laughs> Number four, Kevin Pereira. Kevin has been stuck in the past for way too long. He wants the attack show no matter what he has to do. It's kind of childish, really. He talks about nine-year-olds in the chat when he himself never grew up either. And the shilling this man did for NFTs, or tried to do at least. Oh, oh, the viewers were having none of that. 
he was shut down immediately. I see you, chat. And when you get to be my age and on the downside of your career trajectory, you don't care. I don't need you to like me. I don't. So check this out. Oh, I like neon, but the skeletons, they, they, all of the ones that you're seeing here, I own these, which I know is a humble brag. I'm gonna break my hand, pat myself on the back. Uh, and it's weird to talk about ownership of a digital thing because that's new and I know it can be scary, but... It's not scary. It's stupid. You're falling right into the elite's plan to control us. Remember that quote that was put out? You'll own nothing and you'll be happy? Yeah, you're helping them along by going with the cryptocurrency, by going with the NFTs. Not only that, but everybody knows that NFTs are a scam. Everybody knows that it's just a way to trick the gullible and to take advantage of them. It's also there for money laundering. It's so blatantly obvious. This is not the future, nor should it be. This is like kind of baby's first NFT. Uh, you'll see them in a second. They're adorable, and I have more to say about it, but I forgot what it is. And when the words appear, I'm going to say them. Yeah, because you're shilling. It is a trading card game, essentially, but an NFT. And you can buy, train, build, and breed, and then battle other axes. And I've never actually played the game myself. Would you bring attention to them? Because they're popular as hell. They're like the most popular NFT, and also, they're adorable. They can also be worth money. I'm not a financial advisor, and I don't make investments into NFTs. I buy things because I want to support the art or the artist or the technology that's powering that. But the record for the most expensive Axie ever sold was achieved last year for 300 ETH, which, well, as of this morning, is worth a lot less. But as of a few days ago, is worth $1.3 million. I can hear the woefully uneducated edgelords in the audience hissing, so... Crypto's a scam! Because you didn't make Bezos space money from a thousand dollar investment last week. Okay, well what do you expect when you take financial advice from a 22-year-old can of Bang Energy that's wearing a hoodie? Hey. Okay, we're skipping everything. Apparently, uh, the sentiment <laughs> was just such a nosedive into the ground because people conflate NFTs with rug pulls. Yep. That, that's where we're at in this world. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry we can't have nice things, friend. I'm not in the pocket of Big Axie. I have no idea. I, know, I think Ubisoft invested. There's some big players that are investing in it as like an NFT card battle. Yeah, it's okay to hate. I'm going to sleep fine tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I really will. With all the evidence now in place, I believe we can now understand a lot better as to why Frosk was allowed to say what she said. Now, this is only part one of a two-part video. The next video will be me completely destroying Frosk's comment. Be on the lookout for new content. I'm Cuckoo Kachu. I'll see you on the next one.